Alright, this tutorial is going to show you how to use the blogs found on the SU website. In order to use the blogs, open your internet browser and point it to su.wustu.edu. Once you've done that, find the login section and log in with your provided username and password. Once you're logged in, look for the control panel. The control panel is found on the right hand side and it's under a menu called Student Union Rep. Here you will see links to common tasks that you may want to complete. To add a blog entry, find the link that says Add Blog Entry. Now you're ready to blog. Now, the first thing you should do is title your blog post. Make it interesting, something that will tell the reader what the blog post is going to be about. Make sure you selected the correct entry type, and now you're ready to post. So here is where you edit the actual content of your post. Now, the first thing you should do is add some text. All right, I'm sure your blog post will be more exciting, but once you've added text and you've got a pretty good idea of how you want it to look, then you can add a picture. Now, you're encouraged to always add a photo to your blog post because this makes it look more interesting when it's added to the site. In order to do this, place your cursor at the beginning of the post before the first character and click this link. And this is the link you'll use to add a photo. Now, it's very easy. You don't even have to upload a photo. You can find it on the internet. So let's say you go to Google, you type in whatever um, image you want and you find it and you copy the URL. Then you again click this icon here where it says image URL. You copy and paste it and it will automatically populate the, the dimensions of the photo for you. Now you don't want the image to be too large. You want it to be a thumbnail size so it's a nice preview but it does not dominate the entire page. So let's start off with a guess of 100 by 100 and we can adjust it later on. You want to make sure the alignment is left. Okay? So you've got the image URL, the alignment is left, and the dimensions are 100 by 100. Once you insert it, you'll see a preview of how it looks in relation to the text. Now, the cool thing is that in some web browsers you can actually resize it in line so you can move it around and change its position and everything like that which is really cool. Okay, so make sure you get a nice size. Now, if your browser doesn't su support this dynamic resizing, you can always click the image, uh, make sure it's selected, and click this icon again, and you can edit it there, change the dimensions and things like that. Okay? So now, once you've done that, and let's go ahead and make some more text. Okay, so we've got our blog post. Um, in addition to adding photos and things like that, you can bold text, italicize it, underline it, all those nice formatting options. So you see something you want to bold, you can select it and click the bold icon, italicize things, make some things underlined. Now of course you're encouraged to use discretion when doing this. Um, don't go crazy but make sure if you're trying to add emphasis for something you can utilize these options. If you want to create a bulleted list, you can do so. You can also add a numbered list. All right, so those are the things you can do with the editor. Now, if you're advanced and you want to actually go in and edit the HTML, you can click this button right here, and a window comes up where you can actually edit the HTML source. You can update that and there you see it. It appears right there in line. Okay? But of course, that's something you're encouraged to use if and only if you are an advanced user. Now, once you do that, you should add tags to your blog posts. The tags should all be comma separated and should be lowercase. And the tags are just words that give a brief idea of what the post is about. Okay? Now once you've done that, it's a good idea to preview the blog. Get a preview of how it's going to look. And if you're satisfied with it, you can post it. But if not, you can go ahead and re-edit it. Maybe change some things around. Maybe take this part out. And you can go ahead and save it. And then your blog post is saved. And people can go and take a look at it and 
it's there and if you ever wanted to edit it you can go edit the post again but there you go